What's up out there in YouTube universe here, the universe of YouTube and the wrestling fans, whatever. Alright, this video, I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while now, but I haven't because I just haven't had time until now. So, this video will be my thoughts on WWE 13 coming out in a few weeks. Oh, shit. Oh, this is working for some reason. Okay, no, WWE 13, which is coming out in a few weeks, and why... Oh, Jesus. Threw it out. Just not worry about it right now. WWE 13 is coming out in a few weeks, and I thought I'd get my thoughts on it, because I really... Right now, I'm just trying to figure out why my internet's not working. Oh, well. I'll finish this video, and I'll figure it out. Anyways, my thoughts on WWE 13 are quite frank. It looks very similar to WWE 12. Which I thought was a um, okay game as it is, you know. It wasn't wasn't all that. It wasn't like, oh my god, the greatest wrestling game of all time. It wasn't. I mean, it was fine for what it was. It was a okay game, but it doesn't mean that it's um it, it doesn't mean it's all that, you know. Like for example, the roster for this year's game. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, you have three versions of Triple H. You have two versions of The Rock. You have um. What else? You, I think you have on um, like two versions of Mick Foley or some shit. You have you have all these like downloadable wrestlers like Antonio Cesaro. Why the fuck want to download him? I don't care about him. You have Tensai who's a jobber. I mean, why want to download him? <laughs> you have Ryback. You know, Feed me more. You have Edge, which is fine. And you have you have Triple H from the '90s. You have Hunter Hearst Helmsley. You know, and he does that stupid bow. You have yeah, Billy Gunn. Who gives a fuck about Billy Gunn? <laughs> Scotty Too Hotty. I mean, really? I mean, DDP. I mean, honestly, I don't care about any of these guys. Why would I seriously consider not only buying the game, but having to pay extra to download this shit? Because this shit's going to cost money. You have to pay for this shit. Then you have two versions of Bradshaw. You have one from the 90s and JBL, the one from today. You have three versions, like, I think two or three versions of Mark Henry. One from the Nation Domination, one from today. I think it's two versions. Then you have these two versions of Shawn Michaels. You have, I mean, so they have all oh, the biggest wrestling roster of all fucking time. No, it's not. It's just <laughs> repeat. They repeat wrestlers two or three times, and then they wonder what, and then they claim they had the biggest roster of all time. Fucking false advertising. You have two versions of John Cena. One from 2004, apparently, when he was the fake rapper, and one from today, where he's just a, uh, you know, just a PG bitch. So, yeah, I'm not really impressed with WWE 13, what the fuck's wrong with this shit. I'm not really impressed with what they're doing. I have WWE 12 right here, and it's kind of cool. The only reason why I bought it because it had the rock in the front. I know I must be a dork or something, but, you know, there it is. As well, I mean, I'm, I don't really plan on getting WWE 13, at least not immediately when it first come out, because it's just not, it's just not worth it to me. It's $60 I have to pay just to get... Just for me to be able to play with some wrestlers, really? I mean, it's, it's because I, it's like, oh, I want to play with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I want to play with the Rock. Well, you, you can play with them in WWE 12. I mean, you don't need to pay sixty dollars for plus the, um, what's going to cost in downloadable content. You know, that's going to cost more. Unless you get guys like Damian Sandow or AJ Lee or Val Venus, Tensai, Ryback, Drew McIntyre, Yoshi Tatsu, Natalia, Antonio Cesaro, Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, Brian Pillman. <laughs> you get the point. The whole point is bullshit. They're going to be ripping us off and they're giving us, oh, they're giving us the Attitude Era. No, I'm not giving you the Attitude Era. They're giving you a censored version of the Attitude Era. Because it, you're not going to see Stone Cold Steve Austin doing this and giving the finger and shit. That's not going to happen. Because if that were to happen, then SPWB is now PG, you know, so even, so the Attitude Era is either going to be condensed and, and, uh, censored. That's the key word here, censored. And anyway, we know what happened. They're going, oh, well, we got Attitude Era storylines. You know what the fuck's going to happen? Unless you didn't see Attitude Era, but well, I did, which is why it's not worth it. It's not worth $60 plus whatever the hell you're going to pay for downloadable content, which is an extra $20, $30 right there. So basically, it, it's not worth your time to get this video game. I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna keep playing this game. I might get it. I don't know. I may not. I might get it, but then again, I might not because it's too expensive, you know. And I'm on a budget. So that's my thoughts on WWE 13. Give me your thoughts. I mean, that's what the comment section's for. 
<clears throat> you know. Well, until next time, you know who this is. I am Don't Be Out. Signing off for now.